Bill Linden is also a newcomer. He's a good all-round sportsman and at 24 stones body weight is a serious contender for a place in the final. Bill, just coming out to the first event, are you looking forward to it? Uh, yes, I've been training hard for the last 12 months just for this, uh, this competition, so yeah, I'll be going as hard as I can. Now, you've got the defending champion in your heat. That makes it extra tough, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a very tough draw, so I just have to make sure that I make no mistakes and just uh, do the best I can. What about the rest? Yes! Bill Linden really psyched up for this first event of 1994. Hey! Take the train! Well, this is a giant safari truck complete with 10 passengers, nearly two tons in total, which has to be pulled over a course of 25 metres in the fastest possible time. Linden is a huge man, but weight is not that important here. It's more a question of power in the arms and timing. There's a lot of London buses that don't go much faster than that in the rush hour. He's just beginning to slow a little. Watch the clock in the right-hand corner. The front of the truck must go over that white line. 34.06, a good start for the Aussie, and a time the rest look a little nervous about. It's very much arm, leg, back coordination. They have to get a good rhythm. A few times there I broke my rhythm, but oh, I'm happy now. I just hope that it's a good time. A disappointing outcome for defending champion Gary Taylor, but a great boost for Scotsman Forbes Cowan's confidence as he takes the lead. I don't think Bill Linden will see the joke at the moment. I swear this man is getting pinker by the minute in this hot sun. He passed on 145 kilos to save his energy for this weight. So far so good, but he can try again. He's going to need to lock out those arms. Down it goes. He finishes third, in fact, with the same weight as Forbes Cowan, but with fewer attempts. So two men left in, and more weight will go on the log. Phil, commiserations. It was looking easier earlier on, but that was a hard weight. Yeah, yeah, it was very hard weight, but uh, that's the only way I could stay in the weight. I didn't want to go to, to 145, but to, to chase the other guys, you know. So, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I missed a lift for Scotland. Australia won ahead, but what a contest. It looks so tranquil here, but all that will change in the next minute or so. Taylor versus Lyndon, and both Gary, of them look ready to tear each real. other apart. <laughs> Gary might weigh 20 stones or thereabouts, but there's not a lot of fat floating around on that body. And say, no. Here comes the ritual once again. Not quite as well rehearsed as it has been, but they can be forgiven. This event last appeared in World's Strongest Man in 1982. There's two men who would be welcome additions to any rugby front row. Oh, Taylor so fast, he lifts him so easily. He's turned him. That's a big fall indeed. Taylor and Linda really letting rib at each other. And referee Edna is wanting a few words with Gary just to calm things down. Both men seem to fall very heavily, but Taylor comes out on top in the first bout. So almost a repeat of the Onasai Cowan fight. Taylor very much looking to be the favorite to go through to the final. Come on, Gary. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, it looks as though he's going to do it again. Linden thrown down like an old sack of potatoes. What a final in prospect now. Taylor wins with ease and he's now guaranteed at least three points. The Tempest subsides. A big hug there for both men, and a chance for the other finalists. What? Cowan on the near side has experience in this event, but for him and Lyndon, it's a definite disadvantage having to go first. The next pair will be able to see exactly what they have to beat. Well Safely round the turn at 25 metres. Just imagine trying to walk down the pavement, holding a 15-stone man off the ground at each hand. That's the equivalent of what they're carrying here. Cowan turning now at two laps. That's 50 metres he's covered. Linden just behind, each man going at his own pace. Linden just wobbling a little bit on the right-hand side. Oh, the grip has gone at about 60 metres. He's finished now. 